Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Numbers chapters 13 through 15 and Mark chapter 16. If you are new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Numbers chapter 14 verses 11 through 13, 17 through 19 and 21. Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me? And how long will they not believe me? With all the signs which I have performed among them, I will strike them with the pestilence and disinherit them. And I will make of you a nation greater and mightier than they. And Moses said to the Lord, Then the Egyptians will hear it, for by your might you brought these people up from among them. And now I pray that the power of my Lord be great, just as you have spoken, saying, The Lord is long-suffering and abundant in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression. But he by no means clears the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation. Pardon the iniquity of this people, I pray, according to the greatness of your mercy, just as you have forgiven this people from Egypt even until now. But truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. God the Almighty was furious and wanted to bring wrath upon the Israelites as they rejected him and was willing to start another lineage out of Moses, all because of rejecting and dishonoring God. Moses intercedes for the people of Israel, and God hears him and tells him, For Moses' sake he will not bring wrath. Jesus Christ also intercedes for us. He speaks to God Almighty on our behalf and grants us forgiveness from all our sin. So let's come to him and believe in him, his death on the cross, resurrection and ascension, that our soul will live with God both now and for eternity. As we read in Mark chapter 16, verses 12 through 14, and verses 19 and 20. After that, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Later, he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Praise be to our wonder-working God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Jesus. Amen.